Hi everyone, let's have a look at this differential equation. So we've got a second order differential equation where our dependent variable is y and our independent is x. You have it equal to some function which means you are looking at a non-homogeneous differential equation or a forced system. Your solution is going to be made up of two parts, your complementary function as well as your particular integral. So let's start with the complementary function first. We can write the differential equation using d operators in this form in the bracket. And we know that that times your complementary function is going to give you zero. And we learned that from the homogeneous solution for homogeneous differential equation. So if we look at the auxiliary equation, we'll be able to find the form of the complementary function. So... So we get 1 and 1 minus, so we have the root of this auxiliary equation is going to be d equals 1, which is repeated, which means our complementary function is going to be e to the x, ax plus b. All right. Now let's have a look at our particular integral. Right, so our particular integral is this expression in the bracket times ypi has to give you your function 3e to the power 4x. So that means that you need to find an expression for ypi so that if you get your first derivative and your second derivative and you substitute into the equation, the equation has to balance, which means your left hand side has to simplify down to this value here. So let's choose our trial function. And I'm going to choose a function that has this form here. Because it stands to reason, if this equation has to simplify down to 3e to the 4x, each of the terms that get added up on your left hand side, have to have e to the 4x next to it. You just don't know what the value is in front of those terms, right? So let's see what we get. 4c e to the 4x is going to be 16, right? And then we substitute into this equation here. And we get... 16CE4X uh, minus 2 times C4X and we know that when we simplify it has to equal 3E to the 4X. So what do we get? This is going to be 16 that's going to be 8, stays 1, right? And that adds up to 9. Oh, I'm missing a C. 9C, which means that C has to be a third, right? So that means that your particular integral is going to be a third e to the 4x. So let's try. So our particular integral is a third e to the 4x. That means that your y, your final solution, is made up of complementary function plus your particular integral. Your complementary function was, we remember, we had repeated roots. So it's e to the x ax plus b plus a third e to the 4x. And that 
is the general solution of your differential equation.